right here guys we have the start or the finish of this girl's ovulation so i'm gonna keep an eye on her for the next couple hours and see if she swells up and gets that classic football ovulation look but if, if you look to the side here all up here you can see uh, it's raised up a little bit it goes like that but it's kind of hard to notice and then on the bottom here you can see this flat kind of um, wall look and then all the scale separation here um, so that's she's been pre-swelling for quite a while now so I'm confident that this is the start or the finish of her ovulation it's like six in the morning now so I'm just checking on the boas this will be the last pairing of the year uh, with the boas and this pair is a salmon hypo abby from basically boas just a really cool male A really cool stripe and kind of a goldish colored stripe um, and then he's breeding to a uh, just a hypo het for annery but I just really like the look of this female I picked her up from Brad Sherman uh, but uh, Chaz from low key boas produced this female and here's kind of a top top shot for you here so right here She's pretty thin there, and then she swells up all right here. So these are the things that you gotta pay attention to. And if, you don't, if you're not paying attention to your animals closely, you can easily miss something like this if you just peek in the cage and just to check on them or whatever. Um, you really gotta keep an eye on them. And over time, you get a good eye to, to catch these signs as you go uh, so yeah i'm pretty pumped about this and then uh i'll include another update of, of this girl in a couple hours in this same video and then i'll also show a few other things too so i hope you guys are having a good sunday and uh thanks for tuning into the channel so for people that know me or follow me or have been following me for a while know that i'm really pumped about the paradise project and, uh, and I'm really looking to advance on this project. I don't work with much VPI, um, but in a way this is a form of T positive and it's kind of along the same lines as the VPI, except when I breed this to a visual sharp albino, I will get half T negative sharp albinos and half paradise bows like this. So you get a little more variety. Uh, in which I also like the T negative sharp albinos too, so it's a win win. But um, here's a male, and he's starting to put back on some more weight. He, uh, he bred and, and this year, this past season, and uh, we got a female gravid from him right now. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a good shot of how the Paradise Boa looks without letting him get away here. So that's that guy right there. He's possible jungle. I don't think he's jungle. But here's his brother. Here's his brother right here, which I think he is jungle. We'll find out. But just real cool, really cool. They got different looks to them. Come here, buddy. We got different. Should have thought this through a little bit better. Come on, buddy. Okay. So. Put this guy back down here. Check out this guy. So the camera kind of has a tough time picking it up, but their eyes have a bluish, kind of a bluish look to them. Hopefully you guys can catch that there, but. And that tail is just badass. 
So yeah, stay st stay uh, tuned for the the Paradise stuff this year. We're just producing a bunch of heads, so they'll either be head for Prodigy, T positive albino, or they'll be head for Sharp T negative albino. The pairings I did with the, these guys, because the females don't carry either or the Sharp or the Prodigy, so. Just making some cool heads for our, our uh, future projects and uh, hopefully we'll get some some nice babies out of those litters so fingers crossed get some. and here's their sister right here so she's uh and i've showed her before but i'll show her again she's a uh, paradise jungle and she's a bit bigger because those other guys have been breeding, so that burns a lot. They're gonna grow, the males are gonna grow a lot less um, while they're breeding. So this girl's going on four years old, and uh, she's not huge by any means, and she will bite. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and do this. But she's pretty big. So it's going on four years old, so maybe next year I produce something, a nice male to put to her. We'll just see what, what direction we want to go with her. Time will tell, but I absolutely love this girl here. She hates me. Show off this girl for a second. This is a pastel dream, monster tail, hypo jungle motley. 66% parahead, so she's either, if she proves out to be parahead, she's either head for bow, women caramel, or sharp albino. And this is where it can get tricky. So boa, woman, caramel, and prodigy T positive, um, they're both T positive, albinos are separate lines of the same gene. So if you breed the boa, woman, caramel, a visual to a visual prodigy, T positive albino you will get all visuals at that point I don't know what you label them as uh, if, they, if you just label them as bow women caramel or if you label them as prodigy T positive albinos or just put mixed lines or something like that so if anybody has done that or yeah, has done that and, and what you label them as if you could put down in the comments and let me know because I'm really curious as to what how you would label it not a big deal or anything like that and I'll I'll probably try and keep them separate but I personally really like the prodigy line I think it's a bit cleaner and some other people do as well so who knows but this girl's clean no doubt about it so i'm not too too worried about that but yeah she's she's badass and she's a 2018 so she's coming up on three years old she's not too big but she's getting there probably in a couple years right here we got a jungle motley um 50 percent head for Red Dragon, so 50% head for Call Albino, 50% head for Blood. Just a, sorry about that, just a really unique male right here from Boa Addicts, from Thomas. So and this guy's ready to breed. He's He's been putting sperm all over his cage, <laughs> but I don't have a female uh, ready for him right now, but so he's just gonna be chilling. Probably uh, he's been accidentally ended that last clip, but yeah. So he's just gonna be chilling until probably next season and uh, figure out what female to put him with. Just a unique jungle motley. Haven't really seen any out there like this guy, but he's from the Pastel Dream Monster Tail line as well. Here's that guy's sister. So jungle, 50% head for red dragon. Just 
just badass. So I figured I'd show her. So not too much content today, but just I haven't been posting for a while. I'm just kind of waiting for the babies to start dropping and so I could show you guys some new stuff and and uh, but anyway, so today short video, but I did want to mention uh, US Arc and uh, encourage anybody who watches this video to go either get a membership with US Arc or even donate two bucks whatever whatever you can do uh, this is the organization that fights for our rights to keep these reptiles and uh, if, if you give them a little bit then they take a mile and right now that's kind of what they're doing they've passed some new bans on uh, 15 or 16 species in Florida of species that could potentially become invasive so they're they're not they're not an issue at all currently but they're still gonna ban them and some people's livelihoods depend on this. They, you know, they support their family with with their business breeding these specific reptiles. Um, it's what they're known for. Now all of a sudden, very quickly too, they, you know, all these regulations are gonna come into play and ultimately in two years they can no longer breed those animals. And it's, it's just outrageous and the last thing we want is for that to continue there and get worse or even for even a little bit of that to spread to other states we want to prevent that we want to so I, I want to support us arc in uh getting in front of this and coming together as an industry as a hobby um and really you know fighting these guys head on um they they don't care they're gonna take our rights and they didn't listen to the callers that called in it, ultimately they had their agenda and they you know their mission was complete and it, it it's just bullshit if you ask me so anyways there's my rant about that so i encourage you guys to go support we are uh, members of usr as well um in arizona there's not anything crazy going on right now but i don't care i mean other states i care about everybody in this industry i want everybody in this industry to be able to keep the species that they love. Um, so anyways, if you guys have any comments about that, go ahead and put them down in the comments section. Um, and please like and subscribe uh, to the channel and hope you guys have a good rest of your day.